And welcome into Bon Appetit, and we're about three weeks away, or two and a half weeks, depending on when you're seeing this show, from Thanksgiving Day. And of course, Thanksgiving means turkey. Today we're going to give you some good hints on either purchasing the turkey, more importantly, cutting it to where it's easy to cut, but yet gives everybody the portions they want. Ron Welch, you're back with us, buddy. Yes, <laughs> good to be you. here. Last time you did some cowboy chili, and cow, you did some great food. Yeah, sure yeah. Fair now. We're bringing it back for your specialty, which is turkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about specialty, but yeah, I've had a little experience. <laughs> That's great. One key thing that you we were talking about before we got on there, we need to let people know, depending on the size turkey you buy, if you buy one frozen, don't start defrosting it on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving because right. it's not going to defrost. Yeah. How long does it usually take? Well, about a week? In this case, this no. is a 10-pound turkey that you're looking at. So right. it's going to take at least three days okay. in the refrigerator to thaw this thing. And if you get, you know, depending on your crowd, if you want those 30-pound turkeys, there, it's going to take at least seven days in the refrigerator. And it's really important to get this thing thawed because it's going to cook evenly when it's thawed. Right. If, it, if it's got frozen yeah. spots in it, it's not going to cook problem. evenly That's and you're right. going to have a a poor product in there. So okay. what kind of seasoning did you put on this? Because okay. I can tell it looks good. Yeah, so seasoning these things, that is one of the most important, the preparation for your turkey. That's one of the most important things. So a lot of salt and pepper in this thing, and you do have to do inside exactly. and out, inside and out. And so you can see the pepper on there. I like a lot of pepper and it, it, it just increases the taste and the flavor. Mm -hmm. But we also, in this case, we don't like to stuff it because when you stuff it, it takes longer for it to cook. The longer you cook it, the more susceptible it comes to be dry. So you don't want to stuff it. But we do want to put something on the inside to make the, increase the flavor. So in this case, we put an apple, yep. we put a whole, um, a whole apple, a whole onion, and some celery inside of it. Yep. So as it's cooking, it comes into the meat mm -hmm. from the inside That's out. what I do, and it's good. It is good. Okay. It, it, so do not you, stuff it. So just when, put when some you take stuff those in things it. out at the end, can right. you eat them or do you just toss them? No, the, it's just a flavor. It's you, just a flavor. You could okay. eat it, I guess, yeah, if yeah, you want you to, want. but I've never okay. ate mine like that. But it's just for a flavor. It enhances the flavor. So after the turkey comes out of the oven, how long should you let it rest or sit before you cut it? Very important too. So 15 minutes, but I would recommend 30 minutes because that allows the bird to seal and the juices will stay in there as you're cutting it. Okay. All right, show now us the right way up. to cut. Turkeys really are easy to cut up because you want a sharp knife, by the way. And um, you just cut that loose skin there and you want to pop the leg open and you can feel the, there'll be a pop in the joint and yeah, you'll see where the joint... Just a little bit. So well, I can do this side. Okay. Yeah, we'll do this there. side. There we go. If there you go. Put, put, pop that, the joint comes open and you just cut that right like that and it comes right through it. You won't have to cut any bone. Hmm. And there's the, that is the thigh wow. and, the, and, the leg. and the leg. And the leg. And you want to do that, you got two sides to it, so you want to make right. sure you do that. Oh, it smells good. And then on the, show us the right way to cut the breast here. That's, yeah, that's that, what most people don't. Yeah, this is, and this is what, this is how, right here in the, in the neck of the bird is where your pulley uh, wishbone is. Right. And you want to take that out. So you just cut the skin just a little bit. And it'll expose the, the wishbone, and you can see it's right here. And you're just going to make a few little cuts to loosen it up just a little bit. Okay. And you reach in there. And you're going to pull that wishbone out. And what that does is it helps you. Um, it helps you when you cut the breast out. Okay. 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 All right. So let's show us the breast before we run out of time here because yes. this is the good part. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut down this breast bone and you can feel it when you cut into it. And you're going to take your knife and just peel right down the side of it till you hit the, uh, hit the breast, um, the rib cage, and then you'll just slide right around it. 
Okay, when you get down to the, the bottom there, you'll have a, that wing is right there, so you'll, you'll just cut right. And Gosh, this listen, smells so good. This is Beautiful. your breastbone. There okay. you go. And you got a breast right there. And then you mm -hmm. just slice down the... Yep, you just slice it. And this will make good stock for your gravy. And what I'd also... Let's go ahead and put that right over here. And again, we got this side too. So you just come down, you'll find that breastbone, come right down the side of it. Again, come down till you get to the rib cage, and then cut right around it. And make you a little cut there, and then you cut the breastbone. Well, Ron, thank you so much for showing mm -hmm. us this, and this just really, really helps. And loads of tips, and anything that we can continue to tell you, just give us a call yeah. and let us know. And he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna properly cut that breast, and with mm -hmm. that, before we start eating. Thank you for being with us and we'll be right back.